It's buzzing in here ahead of game three. And we'll be back in a minute to get it started. Hello, baseball fans, and welcome. MLB The Show brings you the American League Division Series. It's the New York Yankees and the Los Angeles Angels. Alongside Chris Singleton, I'm John Chumby. A lot going on in this series as we get ready for game three, Singy. Man, it's been fun so far, Boog, that's for sure. After splitting the first two, game three takes on even more meaning than usual. You don't want to be the team that drops this one and then be faced with having to win two games in a row in order to take the series. That's tough. And yeah, the pressure on the starting pitchers is big in this one. Each of them is being counted on to come through with a quality performance hoping to save some of that bullpen for really critical games coming up. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Just about ready to go and towing the slab, Patrick Sandoval. The last time out, he's only able to complete four innings, but really battled. Didn't have his best stuff. I look for him to be better in this one. John Birdie at the plate. Leading off on the Yankees, the designated hitter, John Birdie. The wind and the pitch. Foul ball there. And the pitch. Fouls one off out of play back to our left. Not close with that one. Gonna count one and two. Next offering is outside. Wouldn't chase that time. Gets a piece and stays alive. He's mixing his pitches really well late on that fastball after seeing the changeup. See if he can elevate one. I think if he does, he'll get the swing and miss. And that one off the inside edge. You walked him. You know, Boog, it's been said these guys are savages in the box. You can see it right there with such tight plate discipline. Here's Alex Verdugo. And that one fouled off. You'll want birdie runs. Outside. Pitch outside. And that's a stolen base, not even close. Well, he's batting leadoff, and he's acting like a traditional leadoff hitter. Gets on base to start the game, then puts himself on second with a nice stolen bag. I think that sets the tone for the offense for sure. Outside low, ball two. Last couple of pitches breaking balls away. I think he's going to have to come firm inside to be able to open up that location if he wants to go back there later in this count. Line drive takes it in for the out. That is third. The center fielder, number 90. Take a look at the lineup. Chris, this is a lineup offensively that could be really good for years to come. They're deep, first and foremost, but the way that they can manipulate their personnel for matchups and everything else, it's uh, very intelligent the way that they use their team, and I, I think it creates a little bit of uh, uncertainty for opposing teams, especially in a big game, big series. Aaron Judge, one, the next no to hit, takes ball one. Starts him off with the breaking ball, which isn't surprising. They're trying to keep him off balance, but he's been known to connect on the breaking stuff, too. 
And fires in a fastball at 95. One out and a runner at second here in game three. Sandoval throws over. Birdie back in on a dive. The pitch. Swing and a ball popped up. And it stays fair. The run comes across and the Yankees score first. It's 1-0. Puts a run on the board and picks up an RBI. Really not a pitch you want to swing at if you don't have to because it's almost impossible to hit anything that far inside with any type of authority. That one tied him up, but still able to guide it into the outfield somehow. Runner on at first with one gone, and now it's Juan Soto. And that gets the top of the zone for a strike. No one for count. The pitch. There's a swing and a drive. That one back there. And out of here. And they add a couple more. It's 3 0. You almost feel bad for the baseball when Juan Soto hits it. His swing is so powerful. Well, you can see he was out front just a little bit. Maybe didn't recognize the changeup earlier, but he got the bat head to it, hooked it down the line, and was able to keep it fair for a long home run. Really impressive. Glaber oh, Torres in the box here lets that one go for a ball. Sandoval. He's kind of interesting. You know, when you dig into the tendencies, he does a good job of limiting the hits, but the walks continue to be a problem. And that's oh, off inside, the two. inside edge. And now 2-0. Oh. And another ball. Well, he's got such nasty stuff that I think, you know, hitters, they're just not as willing to try to get something because it's hard to square them off. And when you have pitches that are ending up just outside the strike zone, until they get called for strikes, hitters are not going to pull the trigger. And yeah, there's ball four. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. The first baseman. One down. Anthony. Here's the veteran first baseman, Anthony Rizzo. That one finds the zone, and it's 0-1. So against a guy like this, I'm looking for something straight. I'm not going to be successful hitting anything that's got movement on it. I've got to look for a four-seamer and try to get it up in the zone. And now the lefty. At the ball. Yankees up by three here in game three of this American League Division Series. At the belt and fires. Foul ball still a one and two count. And a pitch. Knocks that one away and we'll do it again. And a ground ball to first. There's one. No. Double out. play. And that'll do it for the inning. Another look at the long ball for the Yankees. It's now 3 0. This is the American League Division Series on the show. Back here with my pal Siggy, our starter in this one. Marcus Stroman, what should we keep an eye on here? Well, there are going to be a lot of balls in play because of the ground ball rate. Important that the defense stays engaged in the game. I think it's critical. Tempo is there. If you work and quickly, it helps the fielders angels. behind you to stay engaged, to make those plays, and help you get through the innings. Bottom of the first. So in now for the Angels, Nolan Shadowell. 
That's in there. That's strike one. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. And it's nope. even up. Hard hit, left side. Throw on to Rizzo. One up, one down. All right, let's take a look at the Angels lineup. The challenge for him today, Singy, elevating the baseball against this sinker baller that's on the mound. Yeah, that's the challenge, but it also might affect the way they approach base running in this one, Boog. You get a runner on first, you anticipate trajectory down, and when the ball's in the dirt with a good secondary lead, you break for second. So whether it's a stolen base or not, you stay out of the double play, get that runner in a scoring position, and that can help you put more runs on the board. And it's a one-hopper off the wall. Should be extra bases. And he starts his afternoon off right with a double. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side. And the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. Here's Mike Trout. Right back to him on the mound. Yeah. Throws the first in time. Batting four. The second baseman, Brandon. Drury. Brandon Drury to the plate. Swinging a foul over the screen and back out of play. The 0 2 stays alive. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0 and 2. Runner at second, two down. Foul ball still 0 and 2. Right-hander kicks deals. One ball. That one way two outside. Strikes. Now one and two. Out towards right center. That's well struck. That's back. And that one's gone. A shot to the opposite field. It's 3-2. playing wiffle ball up there and that's typically not the easiest way to hit a home run to the slight opposite field into the gap man making it look easy that's for sure two outs nobody on and next for LA Mickey Moniak and that one hammered way back there that's down, one hops off the wall. And that's a double. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. Put a really nice balanced swing on it. And when you can rope one into the gap like that, you're thinking extra bases from the first couple of steps out of the box. And he'll feel real good about that one. So two down. Here's the Angels catcher, Logan Ohapi. Pitch misses inside, and that's ball one. Two 
two outs. Swing and a foul straight back. Crushed. Left center field. This one's deep. Forget it. A gigantic blast. It's their second home run of the inning. It's 4-3. He absolutely crushed that one. No doubt about that one, Boog. We knew it wasn't coming back. Anytime you have a pitch down the middle of the plate, the percentages go up for the hitter to do damage, even if it's a pretty good sinker like that one. Nice piece of hitting there at the plate. Here's Chris Bryant now. And that is cut on and missed. It's 0-1. Well, they've been able to score four runs off of him in this inning, and this is where you want to just max out, get as much as you can, give him one of those tough innings where it's going to be hard for him to recover in the next one. That's the third. Throws the first in time. That'll end the inning after a lot of scoring. But two round trippers in this inning. The long ball was working. It's now a 4-3 ball game. You're watching the American League Division Series on... All set for the start of the inning. And stepping in for the Yankees, Anthony Volpe. Volpe. And a pitch. Chris, you and I have gotten to work some memorable postseason games together. One I look back on, 2013 ALCS Game 2, the David Ortiz Grand Slam. Fought off foul. For me, Boo, the game I remember is us calling the 2014 AL wildcard game. The Kansas City Royals hosting the Oakland A's. The Royals come from behind to win in extra innings and move on to the division series. They had such a great run that it ended up in the World Series losing to the San Francisco Giants. The wind of the pitch. Swing and a miss. Had him out front for the strikeout. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically he likes to shoot the ball the other way. But that time, a little anxious. Jose Trevino. Here's Jose Trevino. That Jump missed by a lot. Up. And that's ball one. The Yanks trailing by a run here at the top of the second. Wouldn't Do chase it. that time. Singy, he wasn't real sharp in the first, got hit around, but really more so, didn't throw a ton of strikes. Well, he's just got to find a way to settle down. He was clearly fighting himself out there, not really finding the strike zone, walking batters. So we'll see if he can get back on track and fill up the zone a little bit more. Next offering is in for a strike. And a strike. And that's ball four. It's tough after falling behind a hitter, two balls and no strikes, but now at least he gets a fresh start against a new batter, but he needs to get back into the strike zone and start pitching with conviction. Lifted in the air, right field. Moniak puts it away, and there's two down. Now back, designated hitter. John Birdie. Back to the top of the lineup. Next is the designated hitter, John Birdie. The walk and a run scored his first time. Oh, and that's, that's outside. Out. And it's 1 0. Trevino off of first with two away.
the pitch. That one fouled off. Two outs. That Whoa, one almost man. got him. The pitch. Foul ball, another 2 2 upcoming. Here comes a pitch. Line drive. It gets down, base hit. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. The left Alex Verdugo Alex stepping in now for the Verdugo. Yankees. He's 0 for 1. That one down the line. Jump throw across his body. Third out. And that ends the frame. Yank strand a pair. Score holds at 4 3. Ready to go and for the last half of the Eight inning. Eight now the third baseman, the Luis Rangifo. And here it comes. Stroman, multi time all star. He features a sinker, a slur, a cutter, a splitter, and he works in a slider. That one the other way. Oh, he gloves it. It's never fun going back to the dugout after hitting the line drive that finds a glove, but you will get some high fives. You know, when you make great contact, you feel like you've done everything right. But in this game of baseball, not everything is in your control. Smoked on the ground a second. Torres over to first. Already two out here in the home half of inning number two. The first baseman. Nolan. Back to the top of the Angels lineup. Nolan Shanuel, the next to hit for the Angels. Grounded out to short in his first trip. That one back up the middle and it gets through. So a two out knock keeps the inning alive. Oh, no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from. And there's just no one there to knock it down. And now Taylor Ward hammers that one deep left field and forget it. A massive home run. And they boost their lead. It's 6-3. That's their third home run of the game. They're having a lot of fun at the plate in this one. They've got the long ball working for them on autopilot. Well, he went up there, oh, oh, looking to do damage. I think he had his sight set on that pitch. He went and got it and circled the bases. Here comes the Yankees manager to the mound. Pitching change coming. That's it for Marcus Stroman. And as he heads for the dugout, we'll take a quick break. New arm on the mound when we get back. JT Brubaker on the pitch here. Just trying to keep this one close here. And this is where a bullpen can give their players a chance to fight back into the game. Now Trout gets a chance to hit. That one finds the zone, and that's strike one. And he gets tied up right there. Talk about tying a guy up. That was ugly. Bases empty, two away, but two runs are in at bottom half of inning number two. In the air, left side. Verdugo gets under it. And that is the third out of the inning. 
Two run shot for the Angels this inning. And they've doubled up now. It's 6 3. New inning getting started. Stepping in the long the ball threat, Aaron Judge. Aaron Judge. The why to kick the pitch. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any oh. hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. On the ground, right side. In plenty of time to first judge out on the play. The battle, the right field. Juan Soto. Juan Soto now. He's already homered here in this one. Soto, an all-star a season ago, 25 years old, and they went out and made a trade for him last season. Inside, that missed inside. 1-0. One, and oh. one out, base is empty. And another Outside. ball. And that one fouled off. One down, base is empty. He dives, but he can't make the catch. Not in time. Great effort, but it's an infield hit. It's a good hustle. And when you're talking about an emerging leader on a team, those are the things that are going to be necessary for him to do to set that example, you know, game in, game out. Here's Glaber Torres. First pitch doesn't find the zone. And he deals. Foul ball. The Yankees trailing by three. We're here in the top half of inning number three. That's the ball. Squirts away a little bit. Two one. Not in time. He's safe. And now a man into scoring position. So now the injury forcing a substitution at second base. Pinch running here, Trent Grisham. Kicks and fires. That Ball one three. misses. Three and one. This doesn't seem to want to throw him a fastball. Three That's one, and he couldn't come up with it. They just keep handing out gifts, boo. Were we supposed to bring something? See, I think just our game. presence Anthony is the present. So one out with two aboard. And now the first baseman, Anthony Rizzo. 0 for 1 so far. And there's a the ball. The only adjustment he needs to make is his target. If you aim at the outside corner, that slider's going to end up way off the plate. Perhaps look a little more down the middle, and you get it right where you want it. Rip, but it curls foul. And that's outside. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. Grisham at second. Torres over at first. So going away. Swing and a pop-up. Ward running hard to get it. Couldn't get to it before it dropped foul. Left-hand batter waits.
still two and two after the foul ball. Two on, one out. And down on strikes. And there's two away. And now the shortstop, Anthony Volpe, went down on strikes his first time through. In there at the knees. And that is strike one. When we're struggling out there on the mound, hitters know that there'll be plenty of opportunities within the at-bat to try to get something to hit hard. To the right side, Drury. The flip, and very nicely done for the out. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and two are left. We move on to the bottom of inning number three. It's the Angels six, and the Yankees three. So coming into the game now on defense, Trent Grisham. He takes over and right. So now the Angel cleanup hitter, Brandon Drury. He's already homered in this game. Here's someone that loves playing at home, and who can blame him? His numbers are historically better, and he's already one for one out of the shoot. And the first pitch misses for ball one. You know, these Angels really impressing me with the quality of their bats in this one. It's been fun getting a chance to see them go to work. They jumped all over the starter and knocked him out of the game early. He just was never able to settle in, and the damage was done by the time he got the hook. And the right hater deals. Pitch misses there. One, two and one. I mean, when you're chasing the opposing starter in the first inning or two, that's just such a tone setter for the game. And it puts the other team back on their heels, and it stills a lot of confidence in your lineup from top to bottom. The pitch. And a foul ball. He stays alive. And a pitch. Wouldn't chase that time. This to third. Gathers and throws to first. One up, one down. Now batter, the right fielder, Mickey. And now the right fielder, Mickey Moniak doubled his first time up ball and that's off inside. the inside edge and that is ball one line drive caught that'll drive you crazy as a hitter if you let it I mean he couldn't have hit that ball more on the screws than he did and yet he's got nothing to show for it hang with him I know the feeling Logan Ohapi, the next to hit for the Angels. And it's fouled away. Two out spaces empty. And ball one. And yep, another ball. ball Pretty easy to give up on that pitch right there. Started on the edge of the plate with the spin. You know it's going to finish well off the plate. Two down, nobody on. And a foul ball. Right handed reliever. Three, two.
That one ripped. That's back. Pulls it in on the warning track. Welcome back, and now on the mound to start the fourth, Zach Gleeset. So at this point in the ball game, we're talking about middle innings, and the little length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able to give his skipper. Here's the catcher, Jose Trevino. Walked his first time. Jose Trevino. The pitch. Swinging a foul back. That's out of play. That's inside. One ball, one strike. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Seems like he got exactly what he was looking for right there. Smash that one through the infield for the knock. When it's hit that hard, it makes it very tough on the infielders to make any sort of play. Here's D.J. LeMayhew. And that's a strike. And that one is lifted in the air. Turns to the right on the move. Monia pulls it in on the run. The batter, the designated hitter, John Birdie. John Birdie stepping in now for the Yankees. And first offering is fouled off. Trevino, the base runner at first with one out. Right through there for a strike. Swings and misses. And there's two down. Well, that slider down and away, it's just kind of a slow death. With two strikes you're looking to protect, and halfway to the plate, you know you've committed, and you know you're going to have no chance of touching it. Tell you what, sometimes you just have to tip your cap. And first offering is fouled off. Two outs. He swings and fouls one off. Line drive, base hit. Throw in holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. Hitting is really easy for some guys. One thing that I can see already, his bat stays in the zone on plane for an extended period of time. And guys like that, they have a high contact rate and they have more barrels because of that bat being on plane. And even when you don't get it great, it's still hit hard enough to dunk something in like that in front of the center fielder. Judge, now in the box, comes up empty with a swing there. Next offered in there for a strike. Slider right there. And ball one to judge. Rarely will you see a pitcher just to waste a pitch like that. The batter wasn't even tempted to swing. Every pitch needs to have a purpose so that it can set up a following pitch to help you get that out. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Two left on. On now to the bottom of the fourth. 
It's the Angels six and the Yankees three. And we're back. And John Chobby and Chris Singleton with you. And leading off the bottom of the fourth, Chris Bryant. Bryant. Brubaker back to work. And the first pitch misses for ball one. And that's down and away. Two balls, no strike. Swing and a miss. Two and one now. Two balls, one strike. And another ball. Three balls, one strike. That one misses. So a leadoff walk. Looked like a questionable call in that spot. He even seemed a little surprised it went his way at the plate. But as a hitter, you'll take that all day. And at first, here's the third baseman, Luis Rangifo. He's 0 for 1. Ripped to right, base hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. That's a good sound coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out front and ripped it into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a pure stroke. And next for the Angels, Zach Neto. 0 for 1, he grounded out in his first at bat. Slider misses outside. First and second, no outs. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. On the ground, could be two. One and second. On to Rizzo at first, and they get the double play. Well, that's what you hope for if you're out there on the mound. First and second, nobody out. Somehow get a ground ball. He got it right there. Nice double play by the infield. So the lineup flips over. Nolan Shanuel getting ready to hit one for two. And that one hit to first. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. So no runs here on a base hit, no errors, and one left. On to the top of the fifth we go. It's the Angels six and the Yankees three. Third game of the division series. Now it's the right fielder, Trent Grisham. The right fielder, Trent. The wind of the pitch. Grisham. And first offering is fouled off. Grisham, first round pick of the Brewers in 2015. Next Eight. offering in there for a strike. No balls, two strikes. Action in the Angels' bullpen. Robert Stevenson, the veteran right-hander, appears to be loosening up. Quijada getting cranked up as well. And the righty deals. Dropped him out looking with the off-speed stuff. Up next to the Yankees. Labor Torres up to hit. Labor Torres. Right through there for a strike. There it was. Oh, oh, here it is. Hit it. He gets a take. Gets ahead in the count. And a foul ball. Oh, and two now. Got him swinging. Now 
Two outs, base is empty. Anthony Rizzo steps to the plate. And first offering is fouled off. The Yanks trailing by three. And we're at the top of the fifth. And it's one and one. Two down, nobody on. Fights that one away, still one and two. The wind and the pitch. Gets a piece there, we'll do it again. Skips in the dirt. And that misses off the outside edge. Wow, this guy's really battling up there as if his run is the game winning run. I love his tenacity. Payoff pitch. Base hit. That was smoke through the infield. He saw a lot of pitches in that at bat and found a way to win the battle. Love how he let that ball travel, trusted Anthony. his hands. Nice Volpe. job of going the other way. Anthony Volpe stepping in now for the Yankees. A big swing and a miss. 0 and 1. Drive base hit. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. Now batting. Jose, Jose Trevino, Trevino stepping in now for the Yankees. Ball one, no strikes. The pitch gets the outside corner with that one. Fouled off. He was late. Swing and a high fly ball to left. Corrals it, and that is that. Yanks strand a pair, and they're still doubled up. It's six to three. Back here at Angel Stadium, we head to the bottom of the fifth, and now it's going to be Taylor Ward. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. Ball. Up and in, ball, ball one. No Activity in the bullpen for the Yankees. Ron Marinaccio up and throwing. Hamilton getting loose as well. That one to first, Rizzo. And the leadoff oh. man set down in their half of the fifth. Here's Trout. This is a true five-tool guy. Not very many of them out there, but when he's on the field, you can't take your eye off of him. And the first offering is not close. Fans come to the ballpark to watch him play. And in baseball, to have such a talented player going out there every day and putting on the show that he does, just a joy to watch.
Bases empty one away. Last half of inning number five. That one in there to Mike Trout. It's for average power, the ability to field the arm, and then the speed. Really impressive. And there's a foul ball. And a 2 2. And another ball. Now he breaks his bat. He steps on the bag. Home half of the fifth inning moving the along. Two game. quick outs. The second baseman, Brandon Drury. Brandon Drury digs in now. There's a strike. One delivers outside. Two outs. Fought off foul. And the pitch. Up the middle, Volpe tosses to first. That's the inning. So they go quietly there. We're through five. It's the Angels six and the Yankees three. All right, we go to the top half of inning number six. DJ LeMayhew to start things off. Here the right hander back to work. And ball one, one to LeMayhew. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Robert Stevenson, the hard throwing righty, is up and loosening. through that well, with both starters out of this ball game it now becomes a battle of the bullpens and just seeing which manager can match up better and who's able to get to the finish line next nope, pitch is downstairs ball. it's a good take Three. got him looking that's a strikeout wow that's a tough call for the hitter but the pitcher will take that all day long not quite in the strike zone, but he found a spot that the umpire is going to, at least for now, allow him to get that call. So hitters are going to have to make an adjustment, but pitchers are going to learn from those things and really try to exploit them if they can. Birdie, the next to hit, takes outside. Birdie measures 5 feet 10 inches, 190 pounds, and they traded for him earlier this year. Gets it to first. Two up, two down. The left field, number 24, Alex two outs, space is empty. Alex Verdugo stepping in now for the Yankees. One for three. And first offering is fouled off. Well, this is the type of hitter you want up in this situation. Some sluggers coming up behind him. He's so good at moving runners, but also getting on base. See if he can be patient here. That one finds the zone. That is strike two. Two down, nobody on. And we're the top half of the sixth. Off the plate inside, and a count one and two.
Right hander kicks deals. Ball two. This guy's a fun guy to watch taking it bad. He just battles up there. He doesn't take a pitch off at all. Makes it so difficult on the pitchers out there. You can tell they get frustrated with how long it takes to put him away. Two down, nobody on. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. One of the things about that two-out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead. So a ball down the line or an end of the gap will produce a two-out RBI, and those are the best. That is if you are the offensive side of it. Judge in the box now. No balls in a strike. Out to short. Zips it across, and that will end the inning. So no runs on no hits, no errors, and one left on. We go to the bottom half of inning number six, and the five, six, seven slots do up. It's the Angels six, and the Yankees three. And welcome back and to the ballpark. We well, we go bottom six. So in now for the Angels, Mickey Moniak. The pitch. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. Hey. Next offering is in for a strike. All right, now, he may have not liked either of those first two pitches or agreed with the umpire's calls, but at this point, he's going to have to bear down and be ready to hit anything close to the zone. The 2 That one nope, just two. misses. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Oh, Off the two. mark there. Two balls, two strikes. Kicks and deals. Three. Hits and misses. It's a strikeout. Well, that's pretty much the dream two-strike curveball if you're the pitcher. Hard downward 14. break at the very end that just dips below the swing path. And they say pitchers want to try to bounce that pitch right on top of the plate. So that was exactly what he was looking for on the mound. And next for L.A., Logan Ohapi. And it was a homer back in the first inning that got his day started at the plate. Yeah, Boog, a two-run blast as fans were just still getting into their seats here at the ballpark. So if you showed up late to this one, you missed out on a big moment early on. And a oh, good eye there. Right. right through there for a strike. Base is empty one away here in the bottom of the sixth. Next pitch is outside. Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. The batter, the designated hitter. And now the designated hitter for the Angels, Chris Bryant. And first offering is fouled off. Ohapi, the runner at first with one gone in the inning. Next hey. offering in there for a strike. And it's 0-2. Not no sure exactly what he was thinking there. Good sinker ball pitcher goes with the fastball in a double play situation where he needs something on the ground. And he'll two. And they'll do it again. And a pitch. Maybe a two ball. Five, four, out. three. He's it's out. a double play. And that'll do it for the inning. No runs, one hit, no errors, and no one left. On to the seventh now in game three. It's the Angels six and the Yankees three.
New pitcher in the game for the Angels, Jose Quijada. 65. Jose Quijada. Now it's Trent Grisham to the plate. Caught looking his first time off. Trent Grisham. And a pitch. And that ball one to the right fielder. The Yankees looking to rally. Up the middle. Dives and he can't hang on. No throw. And they don't get an out on the play. Up next to the Yankees. Here comes Glaber Torres. Torres. Runner on the goal. Pitch in for a strike. Safe at second, and that was not close. And a strike to Glaber. I think he was sitting off speed there. Swing and this one's bounced to the ground. Drury. That's the first out in the top of the seventh. Now battle. And here is Anthony Rizzo. This is all about situational hitting. It's crucial in this spot. Do whatever it takes to put the ball in play, and hopefully you find a gap in the defense. Swing it a foul straight back. Left hand hitter waits. And that's in there at the knees. That just misses. And yeah, the count one and two. One away with a runner at third here in the late stages of game three. Got it. Two out. Anthony Volpe stepping in now for the Yankees. The batter, number 11. Good time. Anthony Volpe. The shortstop takes the ball. Wouldn't chase that time. Two outs and a runner at third. Here at the top half of inning number seven. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. Two outs. That misses the zone. Three balls and a strike. Jose Trevino in the on deck circle. And ball four to a board. How big a deal is that walk? I don't think it's a big deal because if you pitch to the previous hitter with the power he has, he can hit a home run. I think it was a calculated walk. We'll see how it pays off here. So the Angels turn to their bullpen for a new pitcher, Jimmy Hergit. First and third, two away. And up next for New York, Jose Trevino. And downstairs. All one, no play. Next offering upstairs. The tying run at the plate. And a foul ball. Makes the count two and one. Move to first. Volpe back in standing. Okay. 
tying run at the plate. In the air, right field. He's under it. Makes the grab. And that's the third out. Nice work from the Angel Pen there. Midway in inning number seven, and it's time to stretch. It's the Angel six, and the Yankees three. We're back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. Ian Hamilton. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. And now it's switch and hitting third baseman Luis Rangifo. The third baseman. Luis Rangifo. The pitch. Right through there for a strike. Righty to the plate. Quickly in an 0 2 hole, you're going to have to give something up here in terms of power if you want to put the ball in play with any authority. And here it comes. Oh, That's right outside. Down. One and two to count. Here comes a pinch. Fouls it off, still one and two. At the belt and fires. Popped in the air, left field. Verdugo makes the grab, one down. The batter, not shortstop. So up next, Zach Neto. That one finds the zone. Going to one. Activity in the bullpen. Ron Marinaccio up and loosening in the pen. One down, base is empty. Comes up empty, that's strike two. Well, you got the hitter already chasing that nasty slider. If you're on the mound, you just want to expand the zone right now. Get a swing and miss and get through this at bat. That one, one not close. Two now one and two. Right hater deals on the ground, and that's just foul. And a ball and two strikes. That's ball two. <laughs> Spoils the two strike pitch and he'll see another. Sharp grounder, that's through for a base hit. And after grinding through that at bat, he gets the best of him. The batter, the first baseman, Nolan. So the batting order turns over. Nolan Shonowell. The next to hit for the Angels. Throw over to first. And he's back in safely. And there's the strike.
And he deals. Aye. And now one and two. Really one close pitch strike, down yeah. around the knees there, and you could see him asking where it missed. Probably doesn't agree, but it appears he's ready to move on to the next pitch. Neto stands at first with one out. That two misses. Balls, and strikes. the count is even two and two. Left hand batter waits. Spoils that one and it remains two and two. And another ball. Three balls, two strikes to count. Popped up to the left, into foul ground. Hauls it in for the out. Two down. The left fielder, number three, Taylor. Righty reliever out of the pen, Ron Marinaccio. For the Yankees, number 97, Ron Marinaccio. And next for the Angels, Taylor Ward. And he's already left his mark on this game. He certainly has, Boog. A two-run shot in the second inning, and that made an early impact on this game in a big way. fouled off inside, and this is inside and that drops in for a strike one ball two strikes Outside, two and two. Kicks and fires. Now this is in the air down the line. Grisham settles under it. Nabs it. That is the inning. Angels strand one, but they still lead it 6-3. Welcome back, and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Andrew Wants. Now pitching for the Angels. Now it's LeMayhew up to hit. Andrew. 0 for 3 with two flyouts and a strikeout. And a pitch. You've got to keep things airtight defensively right here. On your toes, ready to make a play. If you can get this to the ninth with a three-run lead, it should be a W. The 0 1. Ball one. And strike two. Well, oh, that's that slope right there. He threw it extremely well. We Talk about just a ton of break. So tough to get that barrel to. On the ground to the left, Neto sends it across the first. Leadoff man is out here in the eighth. Now batting, 
the designated hitter, John. Back to the top Birdie. of the Yankee order. Next to hit, John Birdie. First pitch, and he just misses. There's your strike, 95 of that one. Out towards right center field. Trout on his horse. Got it. Covered plenty of distance there. Two down. So digging in, Alex Verdugo. Alex Verdugo. Ball one there. fouled off a little early on that fastball I'm sure the pitcher taking a note look for an off speed pitch on this next one two down nobody on foul ball still a one and two count ball and two. another ball the Halos <laughs> leading by three, and we're at the top of the eighth. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. Yanks held in check and can't cut into that 6 3 deficit. On to the bottom of the eighth, and now batting Mike Trout. Great speed and great power. A great athlete, quite simply. The pitch. And well, that's, that's outside. Hey, he's like Mike Trout. You figure whatever you put in his hand, whether it's a bat, whether it's a golf club, whether it's a basketball, he can do it and get it done. And a rare talent, so much fun to watch. So now one and two. One ball, two strikes. And the righty deals. That's a ball. Mm -hmm. And now it's three and two. Did get the result he wanted, but that's a nice pitch right there. And it's oh, ball four. He missed right. down low. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't offer at it. Go. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. So, man Brandon. aboard, Brandon Drury now at the plate. Outside low, ball one. And a swing and a miss. Sometimes being lucky is a swing and miss. If he makes contact with that pitch, probably hits into a double play. Now move to first. No, he's Back standing. He's in there safely. Base runner with a one-way lead right there. All he's trying to do is get a look at the pitcher's move. Had no intent of stealing on that pitch. Oh. Next offering is down low. Runner, yep. runner on the move. Fouls one off. Two and two. Nobody out. Runner at first. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Scott Efros takes over on the mound. Number 59. Scott Efros. Mickey Moniak 
the next to hit for the Angels. Liner, base hit. They get it in quickly. So first and second, now one out. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. And now here is Logan Ohapi. Swinging a foul straight back. In the air, left field. Verdugo gets under it. And he makes the catch. Now that the designated hitter, Red. Bryant. So first and second with two outs. Chris Bryant gets a chance to hit here. One's in there, 0 and 1. First and second, two down. Here, the bottom half of the eighth inning. And that one missing low. In there at the knees. And the count, 1 and 2. Two on, two outs. Fights it off, you'll see another. And down on strikes he goes. That's the third out. Angels strand a couple as they're unable to add to their 6-3 lead. Welcome back, and here comes the closer, Matt Moore. Well, he's the guy they hope to turn to out of the pen to lock down wins. So this game has gone to plan, more or less. Let's see if he can wrap it up here. The pitch. Judge leading things off and takes a strike. Moore goes six feet, three inches, 210 pounds. He joined the team as a free agent. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Singy, that's a start. Yeah, as soon as that ball got through, I could see down in the dugout, guys pumping their fists. They know that they got a chance in this ball game. Trent Grisham will hit next. On the corner for a strike. When the leadoff man gets on, you want to minimize the threat by playing sound defense. Hopefully the pitcher can get a ball on the ground and they can roll him up for two. And now the lefty. That one's upstairs, ball one. And now it's even one and one. Judge gets his lead at first with nobody out. That one catches the zone. It's a ball and two strikes. Pitch. That misses, and it's two and two. Rips that one to right. Monia makes the grab one away. Now that second base Glaber. He's two outs away. And next for New York, Glaber Torres.
And nope. that one oh. a little below the knees, and it's one and oh. And That's another ball. ball Last two pitches have been down in the zone. Pitcher clearly trying to get that ground ball double play. But in this count, you're going to have to give in, elevate his pitches, and get back into this at bat. The Angels trying to close out a three run lead here at the top of the ninth. Next offering is in for a strike. Well, that's a great take right there. Even though it's a strike, with the situation runner on first base, you want to keep the ball off the ground. And you swing at that pitch, most likely you roll into a double play. Kicks and deals. Good job to fight that one off. The pitch. And he walked him. They're not ready to go home quite yet. Now batting the first baseman, Anthony Rizzo. So first and second with one man gone. And here's the first baseman, Anthony Rizzo. Corner infielders guarding the lines, trying to prevent extra bases. First pitch just misses. One out. Runners at first and second. That one finds the zone. That's strike one. Well, we call that keyhole. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. Rips that one center field, and there's two down. Now back, the football, Anthony Volpe. So it's their last chance in this one. Anthony Volpe, the next to hit. And that one fouled off. Tying run at the plate. Turned on, but foul wide of third. One strike away. That ball is foul, and the pressure is building. Next offering upstairs. is the ball game. Game threes are very critical when you have a series tied at one and one because you put yourself up. Anytime you go down, you're always chasing. When you're up in the series, you feel like you're in the driver's seat. Nice win today. Six three, our final score for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon.
our final line score this afternoon. First for the victorious Angels, six runs, ten hits, no errors. They left five runners on base. For the Yankees, three runs on ten hits, no errors. They left 14 runners on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 14 minutes. Our paid attendance at the Big A this afternoon, 45,477. The A 